This movie stars Channing Tatum, who has got to hold the biggest record for teeth clenches in a movie. The Eagle stars Channing Tatum and Jamie Bell and Donald Sutherland and is directed by Kevin McDonald, the director of State of Play. Came out in 2009, one of my favorite movies of that year and very underrated. So that was really the only reason I was looking forward to this movie because Kevin McDonald did a great job with that film and was directed very, very well, so I was excited. Channing Tatum plays a commander in a Roman army and after a series of mishaps, he's injured and is forced to be honorably discharged from the army. Now he has a lot of honor and dignity and everything. He's one of those guys who like lives by the sword, dies by the sword. Or there's like, you know, nothing else in his life. He has, he lives for nothing but to be a soldier and defend Rome and have honor and dignity for the rest of his life. His father, who is now dead, lost a very important Roman relic called the Eagle a long time ago in a Roman forest far, far away. He sets out on the journey into enemy territory with Jamie Bell, his slave, to find this Roman relic and restore his family's good name. I started out really not liking Channing Tatum. He just gave bad performance after bad performance. Step up, G.I. Joe, he was just bad, you know? And then I saw Dear John, and you know, he actually had some really good scenes in Dear John where he did a really nice job and I was really impressed. On top of that, one of my friends has actually met him and said he's a really, really nice guy. So I've grown to kind of like him a little bit. And he's not that bad in this movie. He has some scenes where you're just like, okay, yeah, you know, you're pushing a little bit, but he's really not that bad. He has got to stop clenching his teeth. Dude, no one just stands there and grits their teeth. No one, that's because that's how you make that those little muscles move. You grit your teeth. No one just stands there and goes. The film started out really well. I was getting into it. It was like this is gonna be cool. He's commanding this army and everything. It was suspenseful. It was well directed. It was it was it was getting neat. It was getting gritty. And then he got injured, and it just kind of got like really slow all of a sudden. Lots of walking and trekking and talking to people and uninteresting stories. It just felt like something was missing from the film. Some kind of testosterone fast-paced drive or something, but no, it was just very slow. And even though the film started out really well, it just got really solemn all of a sudden. And even though it picked up in the end, in the last 20 minutes or so, it actually got kind of exciting. When the film ended, I was just kind of like, yeah, now what? So I thought of an analogy. The eagle is like McDonald's food. See, sometimes when you go to McDonald's, you're just really in the mood for McDonald's, and you're thinking, I, I want this. This is gonna be good. I'm excited about this. And when you start eating the McDonald's, you're like, this is gonna be good. Then halfway through, you're just kind of like... You know, it just gets kind of like, uh, yeah... Sometimes your sandwich is made really well. There's parts of it that seem like, wow, this is actually really well made. And then other times, they just completely forget the bun on your chicken sandwich or something. What the H? And by the time you're done eating, you're just kind of like... That's what it was like with the Eagle. It started out great. Halfway through, I'm like, what the heck? It seemed like a whole bunch of stuff was missing, and by the time it was over, I was like, yeah, so now what do I do? But there are good qualities to this film. There are good scenes between the actors, there are a few good action scenes, and towards the end it actually got kind of intense and I was getting into it. Kevin McDonald did a great job with his directing for State of Play, but his style just does not work for this film. Is there a director left in Hollywood who knows how to film action scenes? Zooming in on the fight and shaking the camera does not mean it's exciting. It's so cheap, it's such an easy way out to film an action scene, and I, I'm really getting sick of it. The film is always watchable, however at times it gets really boring, and so I'm going to give it two and a half out of four stars.